Shalom. All praise to the Most High, Yah. We give him all the glory and the honor that he alone is worthy of. All praises on this Tuesday. And just want to give a, a word of encouragement. Um, for there are a lot of trying times that we are going through. Uh, and uh, we need to be encouraged. We need to know that the Most High is still there for us. He's fighting our battles. Hallelujah. That he's watching over us. He's looking out for us. And despite how hard it is, whatever we're passing through, he is with us through it all. Hallelujah. He is faithful. Hallelujah. So we must continue to hold on and to be strong in these difficult, challenging, pressing times that we are passing through. So I just want to uh, create an atmosphere of, of praise. Hallelujah. Because everything that has breath has breath must praise you Hallelujah. We must continue to give him glory even in the midst of what we're going through, we must continue to praise because when we praise him, we it shows our confidence in him that we know that everything is going to be all right. So this song is by a Nigerian called Joe Praise, right? Yes, and it's called Miracle Papa. I just want to play it. Hallelujah. And I hear it. You could dance so long. I saw a God who is I saw a God who is powerful. Miracle Papa. Think about the things he's done. Think about the God that he is. Showers us with his love every day. Papa, hallelujah. I love that because it, when you say Papa, hallelujah, or Tata, as they say, hallelujah, uh, in the Congo kingdom, hallelujah, hallelujah. When you say Papa, Tata, hallelujah, it is an intimacy, hallelujah, that lets uh, you know that you have that kind of relationship with your father, that you can call him Papa, you can call him Tata, hallelujah, and it is such a wonderful 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 thing to know that we have that kind of relationship with our father he is our creator hallelujah hey and he's good he's good he's good hallelujah so i just want to give a word of encouragement today it's coming from uh luke 18 so i'll read luke 18 1 through 8 then Yesaya told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up do not give up. If I were to give a title to this message today, to this 
video today, I would say do not give up. Hallelujah. He said, in a certain town, there was a judge who neither feared Yah nor cared what people thought. Hmm? And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with the plea, grant me justice against my adversary. Isn't that how we are feeling in these times that we're living in, in these end times, as we say? We're feeling a sense of we want justice. Isn't that the cry in the streets that there are we as a people, wherever we are scattered, we are looking for justice. So in this text, this widow is seeking justice. Justice against whom? An adversary. Uh, so justice denotes that something is happening at a magnanimous level that is out of the person's or the people's control. That's why justice is needed because uh, there is uh, an entity that is bigger than the individual can handle. And so therefore, the individual takes their complaint to a higher power, in this case, the judge, as we're coming to that part, to, uh, to lay their claim, uh, to present their complaint, as we do when we go to court. You have a plaintiff, and you have um, you have a plaintiff, and what's the other one? Okay, the defendant, right? I believe. Okay, <laughs> Hallelujah. For some time he refused, but finally he, being the judge, but finally he said to himself, even though I don't fear Yah mm -hmm, or care what people think, because we know that there are many systems in place that don't fear the Most High, that have no uh, no relationship with the Most High don't care about the most highest people, we can see, look what's happening. Look what's happening every day. Look what's happening. We see it in the media, uh, the, the horrible things that are happening to our people all over the globe. So we know that many of these entities, many of these, these nations, many of these uh, 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 people who have power, right, who are in position, they don't care uh, about the people of Yah. So they don't fear because look at what they're doing. Is it showing that they have any fear? Hmm. But finally, he said to himself, even though I don't fear Yah or care what people think, they don't care what people think. Look, what's happening is being displayed in right in, blind, right in, in, in our eyesight. Many people are witnessing these horrific things that are happening to our people. And it's, it's not hidden. It's not uh, covert. It's over. It's right in plain sight where people are viewing it. And, and imagine how it's creating such uh, more horror and trauma. So this judge didn't care. He said he doesn't care what he doesn't fear Yah. He doesn't care what people think. Yet, because this widow keeps bothering me, mm, I will see that she gets justice. She keeps bothering me. The people are marching. The people are crying out in the streets. The people are angry. The people are crying out for justice. You know, trying to uh, rewrite laws, trying to vote this person in so that you know justice can be about trying to uh, uh, change. Uh, just laws and uh, just tr trying to um, voice our complaints, whether it's in the street, whether it's on a political level, whether uh, we do it uh, just crying to the Most High directly, or we're crying out, we're crying out to the Most High and asking Him to hear our cry, to, to see our complaint, to see what we're going through. Papa, Father, you see what we are experiencing here. You see, you see, you see it. Hallelujah. It's not hidden from you, Father. So he said, yet yeah, because this widow keeps bothering me, she keeps coming, she keeps coming, she keeps complaining. He said, I will see she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me. So this uh, judge is concerned about the woman coming to attack him because she's coming, she's persevering, she's being consistent, okay? She's not letting up with her complaint and she's saying she wants justice, hallelujah. So it's already a case that this woman is vulnerable. Why? Because she's a widow. So what happens when a woman is a widow? She doesn't have her covering. She doesn't have that, hu that uh, husband, you know, covering any longer. And oftentimes widows, are be they become neglected. How often do widows uh, get taken advantage of by uh, in society because they don't have that husband covering anymore and they become prey oftentimes. So this widow is a, in a very vulnerable place. She is in a state where she needs justice and she's coming to this judge who doesn't care about the Most High, who has no uh, relationship it seems and don't care what people think. This judge is just doing whatever he wants to do without any concern 
for the vulnerable in, in society, which in this case is a widow. So this widow represents vulnerability, represents those who are in need, represents uh, a system or something that is bigger than her. As oftentimes we face problems in our lives with a system that we've been facing. Hallelujah, our forefathers have been facing living in circumstances with systems that are bigger than us. That we've been the minority. We've been the smaller group. Mm, as, as the chosen people, uh -huh. we have, don't seem to have the power. It seems to be other nations who have authority over us. And yes, we do understand that as a part of the curses. We understand that. We understand that. When we disobey the Most High, He allows our enemies to overtake us. But then there comes a time when we come back to the Most High, when we cry out to the Most High, and we, we feel that we are trying to do what He says, keep His laws, statutes, judgments, commandments, and we feel like we're in a place where we want justice. And this woman finds herself in this position where she's looking for justice. Yes, Papa, we know that we are sinners. Yes, we know we've broken commandment. We've broken, we've broken your laws, statutes, judgments. We understand that, Papa. We are sorry for our sins. And now we are crying out to you for justice because the system is against us as a people. We are in dire straits and we need your help as this woman does. And Yah said, in verse 6, listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not Yah bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see they, he will see that they get justice and quickly. Hallelujah. He will see that they get justice and quickly. He will see that they get justice and quickly. So I just want to encourage you, hallelujah, to don't give up. This widow kept crying out. Oftentimes we face things in our lives that are bigger than us. Circumstances that are beyond our control. And we, it seems that we can't do anything about it. Marching may not change anything. Uh, trying to be a part of uh, legislation or trying to change legislation. Trying to take uh, board positions and political positions may not seem like it changes anything. Trying to be a voice for the voiceless. Uh, trying to speak through the, the poetic voice, trying to speak through the prophetic voice, uh, speaking through uh, through songs, through all, all different forms of literature, trying to raise our voice and and and, and uh, uh, address our concerns, you know, on various different platforms, and, and it seems like our cry isn't being heard because the horrors are continuing to happen against our people. So, like this widow, don't give up, don't give up. If this unjust judge who doesn't care. Many of these systems don't care about the people of Yah. They do not care. But at some point, this judge, even though he was unjust and, and having no sense of fear of the Most High, he wanted this widow's complaint to be addressed because she kept on pursuing. She was persistent. She persevered. And she wouldn't give up. She was relentless. We must be relentless in our face. Faith. We must be relentless as we're coming to our Father and addressing our complaints. We must not give up. We must not give up. We must lay our concerns on the altar. The scripture says, cast your cares upon him, for he cares about you. The Most High cares about us. He cares about his children. He is our Father. Hallelujah. He cares about us. So don't give up, brothers. Don't give up, sisters. Keep crying out. Whatever you're going through, whatever you're passing through, whatever your battle is, whatever your circumstances are that you face that seem bigger than you, that are beyond your control, keep on talking to your father. Keep praying. Keep fasting. Keep seeking. Keep meditating and on him, on his word. And don't give up. The Most High hears. He hears his children. Hallelujah. And if this unjust judge will give justice, how much more our Father, who is great and mighty, who is justice. Hallelujah. He cares about us. So be encouraged. Be encouraged. Be strengthened. Continue on the path of walking in faith. Don't Give up. May the Most High Yah continue to bless his scattered sheep. Hallelujah.